Right now at 10, the state of Alabama remains under a fire alert, simply too dry out there, and the October heat is causing dangerous conditions. So to prevent the next tragedy in our area, firefighters are on the ground and there are even some eyes in the sky. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey joins us now. Muriel, you spoke with an Alabama Forestry Commission pilot who monitors our area. He tells me conditions are so dry right now, pilots are flying seven days a week to keep an eye on everything. Robert Trimble flies four hours a day across 13 counties in Alabama looking for wildfires. We're looking for the fires that nobody knows about. He says he's worked with the Alabama Forestry Commission for eight years. He says conditions are so dry right now, they're on fire patrol every day, especially during the middle of the day. Wildfire is generally going to be somewhere between 10 and 2 o'clock. That's your primarily your ideal time for a fire. Uh, that's when the humidity levels are usually at the lowest. Here's a picture he took yesterday when he spotted a fire that sparked from a car simply dragging something. Another picture shows where a wildfire jumped from one spot to another. For the past few weeks, the state of Alabama has been under a fire danger advisory. The Alabama Forestry Commission says drought conditions and persistent heat are creating the perfect recipe for dangerous wildfires. Uh, as dry as it is now, just a simple spark is all it takes to actually start a wildfire. While he's flying and looking around, Trimble says not only is he there to spot fires no one knows about, he also keeps an eye out for firefighters who are on the front lines. On the ground, a lot of times if they're on a bulldozer, they can't see what's ahead of them because, you know, the brush or the woods may be really thick. And also we're watching the fire behavior. If it starts to intensify or something and they can't see it, we want to be able to warn them so they can back back out so nobody gets hurt. And Trimble says that there's another pilot who monitors North Alabama, and they also contract to five other pilots to help out. Greg?